plate load test was designed to evaluate the supporting power of subgrade and to find out the modulus of subgrade reaction. Talking about its operators, it consists of a hydraulic jack below which there is a set of plates. On the left of this hydraulic jack, there is a dial gauge connected to this datum frame and there is a proving ring which shows the reading of load applied on this set of plates and this is the ground so these plates are available in two sizes the first one is 75 centimeter and the second one is 30 centimeter okay so talking about the procedure that is used in this test uh, firstly a sitting load to cause a pressure of 0.07 kilogram per centimeter square is required is applied and this load is applied to make the soil even from the surface and this load is applied and then removed and the and the readings are set to zero and after that the actual loads are applied so the loads are applied to cause a settlement of 0 0.25 millimeters for example if we draw a graph then in mm these readings are in mm and this is the load now the settlement is zero at zero load value and the load is applied to cause a settlement of 0 0.25 mm so for example at this load 0 0.25 settlement has been done and after that another load is applied to cause a settlement of 0 0.25 mm that is 5 mm and the graph will come like this and then at 0 0.75 mm and then 1 mm and these values are taken up to 0 0.175 centimeters I told you about plates that these plates are available in two different diameters the first one is 75 centimeter and the second one is 30 centimeter now we know that pressure is equal to load divided by area since pressure is inversely proportional to diameter lesser the diameter will give you the more pressure value as compared to the larger diameter plate uh, so in cases where the 75 centimeter plate is not capable of causing 0 0.175 centimeter settlement this 30 centimeter plate is considered to fulfill the requirement of the perfect settlement that we want so these two type of plates are used and this 30 centimeter plate mainly used in highway pavements since this is mostly used in highway pavements but this 75 centimeter plate is considered as a standard plate um, now the aim of this uh, experiment is to find out the supporting power of subgrade and to find out the modulus of subgrade reaction okay if we talk about the modulus of subgrade reaction it is given as k is equal to p divided by delta where delta is the value of the settlement and p is the load and K is the modulus of subgrade reaction. It is defined as the pressure sustained per unit deformation of subgrade at specified deformation or pressure level. So if you haven't understand the definition, it simply means that the modulus of subgrade reaction is equal to P divided by delta. The pressure value corresponding to a settlement of 0 0.125 centimeter is read and the K value is calculated by the relation K is equal to P divided by 0 0.125 kilogram per centimeter square per centimeter or you can say kilogram per centimeter cube. So the modulus of subgrade reaction is recorded for the settlement value of 0 0.125 centimeter at the corresponding load value. Now you have calculated the modulus of subgrade reaction, but during this test, two types of corrections are considered. So two kinds of correction are done on plate bearing test. The first one is correction for moisture and the second one is correction for the plate size. Okay, if we talk about the correction for moisture, it's a fact that whenever we design a structure, we design it for the worst condition by applying factor of safety and it's not always possible that our subgrid will contain that exact moisture content as it would have in the worst weather condition so uh, we try to correct the moisture content in our sample by making it soaked into the water and then try to do the plate load test on that soaked specimen so if we draw a graph for both the conditions this curve will define unsoaked condition and this curve will define the soap condition now we can clearly see that there is a difference between the applied load value so we should take the value of soaked specimen and try to correct 
the value for unsolved specimen. Uh, if we try to write the value of k for both the specimens for the unsolved condition is equal to k is equal to p divided by delta and for the soaked condition it is equal to k s is equal to p s divided by delta. Since the value of settlement is same for both the cases, uh, evaluating the value of delta into this equation we will get some equation like this ks is equal to k ps divided by p where ks is the modulus of subgrid reaction in the soaked condition and k is the modulus of subgrid reaction for the unsoaked condition and ps is the load value for the soaked specimen and p is the value for the unsoaked specimen so from these values we can find out the modulus of subgrid reaction for the soaked specimen and then correct the value of modulus of subgrid reaction that we found out before now let's talk about our second correction that is for the plate size i told you in the plate load test that sometimes we don't get to reach the settlement of 1.75 mm with the larger diameter plate that is 75 centimeter plate then we try to change the plate with the 30 centimeter plate and then try to find out the results so in such case the load may not be adequate to cause the standard plate diameter of 75 centimeter to settle up up to 1.75 mm in such case plates of smaller diameter uh, that is 30 centimeter may be used there is a theoretical relationship of deformation under a rigid plate of radius r is given as delta is equal to 1.18 p r divided by e where e is the modulus of elasticity for that particular soil specimen and r is the radius of the plate and delta is the settlement caused by the previous plate now we know that k is equal to p divided by delta putting the value of delta into this equation we will get it as p e divided by 1.18 p r uh, now cancelling out p from above and below we will get the value of k as e is equal to 1.18 r now taking r to this side now k r is equal to e divided by 1.18 now you can clearly see that the value of modulus of elasticity is constant for a particular soil specimen and 1.18 is also constant so we can say that kr is equal to constant and k1 r1 is equal to k2 r2 it will be equal to constant so from the same relation we can say that k1 is equal to k2 r2 divided by r1 if the test is carried out with a smaller plate of radius R2 and the modulus of subgrade reaction K2 is determined, then the corrected value of modulus of subgrade reaction K1 for the standard plate of radius R1 is obtained from the relationship K1 is equal to K2 R2 divided by R1. Alright? So we have given this question that a plate flow test was conducted on a soaked subgrid during monsoon season using a plate diameter of 30 cm. Okay, the load values corresponding to the mean settlement dial readings are given below. Determine the modulus of subgrid reaction for the standard plate. Okay, since the test was conducted under soaked condition during monsoon season, there is no need to apply the correction for the subsequent soaking. Since in the question you have given that the test was conducted on a 30 cm plate, while you have to find out the subgrade reaction for the standard plate. If the test was conducted on a 30 cm plate, then you have to apply the correction formula. Alright, the formula is K75 R75 is equal to K30 R30. We know the value of the radius of 75 cm plate. We know the value of the radius of uh, 30 cm plate. We can find out the value of K or the modulus of subgrid reaction for the 30 cm diameter plate. After that, you can find out the value of K75. Okay, so for the K30 value, it is given as K30 is equal to P divided by 0.125. Now you have given a table. From this table, you can find out the value corresponding to 0.125 cm settlement or 1.25 settlement. Since you have not given the 0.125 or 1.25 settlement value, you can find out by interpolating these values. If you want me to do a video on interpolation, then you can just say yes or no by doing this poll. Doing the interpolation, the value for the 0.125 cm settlement will come out to be 14. 
1490 kg put this value in this equation k30 is equal to 1490 divided by 0 0.125 it will come out to be since l is the load value and p is the pressure so pressure is given as 1490 divided by area since the values are given in centimeters we will take the 30 centimeters the diameter and 15 centimeter will be the radius this is the pressure that is required to cause a settlement of 0 0.125 centimeter okay now putting this value of p into this equation it will come out as k30 is equal to 1490 divided by pi 15 square into 0 0.125 and the value will come out to be 16.86 kilogram per centimeter cube you have find out the value of k30 you can put this value of k30 into this equation now k75 is equal to k30 r30 divided by r75 okay after putting all these values the value of k70 will come out to be 6.75 kg per centimeter cube and this was all about the plate load test and in the next lecture we will talk about the test and aggregate again if you want me to do a video on interpolation then please tell me in the comments or you can just say yes in this poll thank you